The 12th man will definitely be ready here in Seattle for this AFC East versus NFC West matchup between the Jets and the Seahawks. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Bill? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The Seahawks now move the chains. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Looks to his left. Sidney Rice with the reception. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, he got to throw one down the field. Harvin's in the slot. Second and two. Lynch. Going to be a tackle for a loss. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision and it costs his team yards lost. Third and five. Wilson's got the football after the play fade. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. So with that play, they move into enemy territory and driving here early stages. Well, look, I, I'm going to blame the defense. They're being so passive. You've got to go out there and take some chances. If you don't, this offense is going to keep marching down the field. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. He's in the clear. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Ohio, flip, Ohio, flip. They face first down. Heaving it down the field. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. Second down coming up. He's looking long. And it's thrown incomplete. Oh, 
Offense lines up here. It'll be a third and ten. Launches it down the field. Nice catch. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. I always love it when all the experts say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. Well, tell me about that after that throw and catch. There on the sidelines for the Jets is Rex Ryan, who his first two years took the Jets all the way to the AFC title game, but it certainly was a spotty performance for the Jets back in 2012. Yeah, it was. In 2011 was a rough year, too, Jim. This is a big year for Rex Ryan. He's got to establish himself once again, and now when you, you have a losing season, you got to pay attention to all the little things that can help you win football games in the National Football League. Rex Ryan will be a different coach. We'll find out if it can work. Ohio, Ohio. And Curley's lined up now as a slot receiver. Running back, gets it on the handoff. He stacked up at that point. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. Touchdown, this game is tight. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go, and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. Driving extra point is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Lynch is going to secure the handoff. Lynch with an impressive run. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Intercepted. to the ground. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. The Jets are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. First and 10. Down the field. Clutch catch. It's just not done enough, I think, in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. But look what can happen. You can have the perfect throw, the perfect catch, and a big play. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The give to the running back. Six in the books. I'd say this run by the offense is just it's arrogance they just say you can't stop us and they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown the seahawks are set to return the kickoff like a good return when you talk about special teams good blocking the speed of the returner gets down the field and after that tackle now they have good starting field position takes lined up in the slot trying to work that left side not a good job that time by the quarterback when you see the cover two defense you got to know where to throw the football he did not and that's why the ball goes incomplete
Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second down and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Sidney Rice with the reception. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Almost intercepted. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on the line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Brings it into his body. Well, this defense, cover four, where four defensive backs are back there deep. It stops all the big passes down the field. But look at these crossing routes. Wide open, hit them, and let them catch it and run, and you still get the big play. First and goal. Working that left side and sailing out of bounds. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Second and goal from the six. Eyeing that left side. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw. Nice touchdown. And the point after is good. The Jets are ready to return the kick. to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. And welcome back as we're about to get underway here in this one. First down, offense ready for the snap. The quarterback hands it off on the draw. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. First down here after the run. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Second down here. Staying on the ground. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Powell lined up in the backfield. Smith is in the shotgun running away from the pressure he's looking to the right here on this throw it's not all about speed at the quarterback position running away from trouble you're able to take a couple steps up a couple steps sideways get that extra time avoid the sack and still throw the football Brought down at the 20-yard line. Russell Wilson has it under center. Now first and 10. He's scrambling now. Looking for an open receiver on the right. you got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback, avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. Second down. That pass was hers.
The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Third and ten, throwing now to his left. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. There's a flag out. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals. Fair catch. Keep catching the fans. Kicking team. We clearly saw the First signal down. for the fair catch. Meanwhile, the coverage team was right in on him and made contact too soon. Yeah, they were. They couldn't even see the fair catch signal because they were too busy getting blocked. They got free. It was too late in, and that's an easy penalty to call. Smith's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's into the open. And that time, they got great pressure on the quarterback. He stood in the pocket as long as he could, but once he broke outside, still looking down the field, trying to get that big pass play, it's not there. He takes off, and what a nice game running the football. Hills, a receiver in the slot. First and ten as they go ground here. They deck him in the backfield. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. And Holmes is going to get set in the slot for this snap. No one in sight has the grab. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. This play set up by the long gainer. Kind of a shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They all pick it off in the end zone. So that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. The Jets break huddle and show a jumbo look. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. They're able to, and he's in for the touchdown. you got to be able to take advantage of the quarterback sneak. If the defense doesn't line up properly, find the weak spot and go there to score. Extra point was good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. He spins away. This big return going to set up his team in excellent field position. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Muscles through the defender. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Third and two, throws to the right. Got what he wanted, touchdown.
the Seahawks will go ahead with the extra point. It's good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. They've got him down there. Lines up here. First and ten. Looking long. Thrown incomplete. Ohio! Let's roll! Let's roll! And Curley's in the slot. Second down, 10. Smith's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. And it's incomplete. Well, there's no doubt about it. This guy has a strong arm. That time he just sails the football way past the receiver deep down the field. Ohio! Ohio! Two tight ends. So now a third and ten. Smith sells the play fake and looks downfield. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. The punter awaits the snap. The Seahawks use another timeout here, and they have one left. Should be a routine punt. Signals right away. Fair catch. Sean Lynch is in the backfield. First and ten. The defense gets the sack. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Lynch is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Wilson from the shotgun. Loads it up, it's going deep. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Miller's in the slot here for this play. Breaks the tackle. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. He steps out. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. The throw to the left. Percy Harvin with the grab. And the flag's down. Pressure five. Fast defense. 
Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. He'll fire it out to the left, right on the money. Beautiful throw that time by the quarterback in the back shoulder feed. Right on target, easy catch for the receiver. That reception gave them the first down. Pitches it back. Up ahead for about four. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Play number six coming up on this drive. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. Getting away from the pressure. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. The tackle is made. The Jets will look to get set. Been a close game so far. The scores 28 to 21. And Curley's lined up now as a slot receiver. That ball is picked off. for the first half we'll be back from the emerald city for the start of the second half in seattle after the break we're back here now in this one where the seahawks are leading by seven able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Takes it from the strong eye. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard run. Takes it from the weak eye. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They hand it off to him again. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Coming up, second down. They feed it to him again. That's a gain of six. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Split backfield here. Third down and six. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Ohio! Ohio! And Curley's lined up in the slot. Challenging the defenders to the right side. are in the end zone. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the 
offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Jets now getting set for the extra point. Extra point is good. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. They run the counter play. He's got some daylight. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First and ten, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second and 10, Lynch straight ahead. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Now you know why guys like Vince Wilfork are so important to the middle of defenses. You need a big run stopper to stop these runs right up the middle. You either, you either need a big run stopper or some really big linebackers to stop those runs up inside. Looking to the right side and throwing. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple of plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. And they're going to run it right. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say it's a lower body injury. Not sure exactly what it is, but I hope the players are okay. Tackled at the 20. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Lined up in the pistol formation. Staying with the running game on first down. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and 12. Staying on the ground. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. First down here after the run. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking, and the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. 
Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. Marshawn Lynch's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Lines up here. First down and ten. Down the field. Right down Broadway. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. You throw it deep for a lot of reasons. One, you're hoping for the big play, maybe a touchdown, but also you got to think about interference. You can get that a lot of times, but that was a nice throw and catch. First and ten. It's handed to the running back. Picks up about eight. Second down here after that run play. Takes it from the eye. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Howell lined up in the backfield. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Well, the best thing you could say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection. Nowhere to throw it. Just throw it away. Curley's a receiver in the slot. It's Smith stepping back, looking over the defense from the shotgun formation. I'll just say this, Jim, when you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Three-step drop. Looking for Percy Harvin. Rolls it in. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make a catch. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. The Jets are ready to return the kick. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Curly is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Geno Smith will take it from the gun. Makes the grab. They bring him to the turf. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback. And that's another completion by him. First down coming up. And complete. Gains 11. Well, that's a great feeling, isn't it, for an offense to throw a short pass to the running back and get a long gain. This guy is in there because he can run it, he can catch it, and he can make things happen.
First down here. First down, throwing again. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They pounce on him there. Another name for the fly route, the go route. It's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Throws to the right. Reaches out and snatches it. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Nelson in the slot. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Come out of the dime package. Second down at 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. He fires it in there tight. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Here's the first snap after the big play. Touchdown and drawing close. If the defense is not going to play for the quarterback sneak, then make them pay for it. Take advantage of it. That's what the offense did. The quarterback took advantage. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Now a first down. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. job on the ground there by Lynch. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job, makes the tackle. Got a little crease. He's brought to a halt. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First and 10. Setting up a little screen. Going to lose yards here. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. Boy, that was a tough hit. The star halfback, take it off the field. Not sure if it's serious or not. Uh, once we find out, we'll let you know. Second down and a long way to go. To the right. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Should have had it. 
look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Looks to his left. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Now, looking at third down. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Forces a three and out. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Curley's lined up in the slot. In trouble now. Going across the middle. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket. Got away from the pressure. Uh, gave himself time even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. The defense comes out of the dime. To the ground here. Second down coming up. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close. So he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They've got a first down now after that catch. running a little college-like option. Touchdown in the late stages. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first to go. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. The tackles made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Ohio! 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 And Curley's a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Trying to work that left side. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Uh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. Smith will now take it from the gun. And bat it away. Well, the protection was bad. The quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. Touchdown! What a nice job by the receiver. There's the long throw down the field. He runs, he looks it in, makes the catch, and scores. The Jets now will tack on the extra point. He made it. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Hey, 
They come to the line, and it's first down. Will go Brown. He's headed right. Safeties now in the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time, the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and ten. Quarterback. Quick toss to the outside. Ed Reed in on that last play. The Jets decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Nickel formation here for the defense. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he was wide open. Nice tackle. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. Inside of the uprights. The Jets are ready to return the kick. a touchback. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Smith is in the shotgun. Throws to the right. Interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. It's first down as they head to the line. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. Wilson's got it in the gun. Under pressure and incomplete. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. This game is about to finish. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side and incomplete. That's going to do it here in this one. Phil, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.